Do you want some inspiration on exercises you can do from home that will make you a better runner? Then this video is for you. After my last video I got comments from some of you who said you're not allowed to go out due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And in most countries, also here in Norway, the gyms are closed down. But this doesn't mean we can't train and do some good strengthening exercises. So I thought I would try to inspire you with sharing my 5 favorite strengthening exercises for runners that you can do from home without any need of equipment. So let's just head into the first exercise. So this first exercise is a complex exercise where you use your whole body but you mostly use your calves, your hamstrings and your lower back. And it's a great exercise to improve general stability. And this is how it's done. Keep your back straight, go down like that and then hands over your head and then finish off with a leg raise. And then you just continue like this on one leg. And a suggestion for number of repetitions here is 15 per leg times 3. And if you want to make this exercise tougher, you can find a weight. You can use anything you can find at home and keep the weight in front of you like that. And then over your head. This next exercise is a great exercise for improving the strength in your quadriceps muscles. And it's a simple exercise. All you do is that you go down in a squat. And then you jump as high as you can. I have to bend my neck forwards because the ceiling height here is not that uh, high. If you have a higher ceiling, you can keep your body straight. And then you really try to jump as high as possible because this is supposed to be an explosive exercise. And the suggestion for number of repetitions here are six repetitions times four. This exercise is my favorite exercise to work on balance and stability. And it's a great exercise for those of you who like uh, trail running to really work on those uh, ankle stability muscles. So what you do is basically you keep your knee a bit bent and then you work with the other leg and hand, just like a running stride. You keep going up and down like that. And this is pretty simple, but now the difficult part starts. Because this is where you close your eyes and continue to work with the same movement. And try to keep a good posture. And if you lose your balance, it's just to use your leg to find the balance again. And then just start working again. And this exercise you can do for one minute on each leg, times three. This exercise is a core stability exercise and it's a variant of the classic plank where you work with the core stability that are so crucial for runners. And you basically just raise one leg at a time like this and try to keep your body in a straight and good position. And here you can do one minute times three. So this last exercise is an exercise for the hip abductors that are crucial for having a good running economy. And you start with a side plank like this and then you start moving your upper leg up and down like this. And then all the time you try to keep your hip in a good position so you don't fall down like this. You try to really keep that hip straight like that so your whole body is straight like a line. And then you work with the upper leg up and down. And this exercise you can do for 40 seconds on each side and two times. Hope you liked this video and got inspired to do some good workouts from home. I know this is a tough time, especially for those of you who are not allowed even to go out into the forest for a run. Here in Norway, we're lucky that we're still able to go outside to do good workouts. Whatever the situation is in your country, at least you can always continue training. Uh, I managed to do a good uh, strength training session in this very tiny apartment where I live. So do what you can and you will be stronger when this uh, tough uh, period is over. So if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and uh, I'm always happy if you leave a comment or a suggestion or anything in the comment section below.
Ah. Aj. Jag hoppar i taket. Jag kan inte göra det här. Ja. Jag kan leva med.